What we're going to cook now is the family favourite, the children's favourite, spaghetti bolognese. So we're making a bolognese sauce, or as they would say in Italy, a ragù alla bolognese. We have our minced beef, onion, celery, carrots, garlic, bay leaf, thyme, tomato puree, red wine, always optional, a bit of olive oil, and the secret ingredient, beef stock pot. So we're going to cut some carrots, quite small, as fine as possible. By chopping it fine, you're releasing those flavours into the bolognese. I think I remember my dear mother used to mince it, because my mother used to mince her mince herself. And I think she used to mince the carrots, the celery and the garlic, the onions, everything together. Exactly the same with the celery. Okay, again the onion, fine. Maybe not as fine as the carrots and the celery, but fine. Okay, so we'll take some garlic cloves. Again, we've got to crush them. Just slice them finely to begin with. If I'm honest, if I was at home, I would mince it through a food processor. Maybe the garlic I would crush. I'm going to use the garlic out of a tube. And once again, some salt. All the salt does is just helps grind it down, makes it into a paste. Just so you can see, we have a, quite a fine paste there. Olive oil, and be generous. We have the finely diced carrots, celery, onions, and garlic. It's what we're doing by cooking without colour. We allow the natural sweetness of the sugar, the onion, to come through. So we add our beef now, about a kilo and a half. Again, we cook it with the vegetables to render the fat out of it, and then we can pour that off, and then we can proceed to make our bolognese. So, what we're making here is beef bolognese. In Italy, like my mother, in Italy a lot of Italians use half beef, half pork. But you know, today we're using all beef. What I'm doing now is I'm sealing off all the mints. By sealing it off, what I'm doing is, is evaporating the water content within the beef which intensifies the flavour of the beef and by working it what you do is you break it down how many times do you have a bolognese and you've got lumps of meat in there because it hasn't been worked properly it hasn't been cooked properly see this is statement so very little fat's coming off so therefore there's no point in me draining it off because there's a minimal amount of fat okay we'll put some tomato puree in again it's your choice I put about a quarter of a tube. Maybe I'll put a bit more in and have a look. But remember, I'm going to put some pomodoro sauce in, like my mother used to do it. So now let's cook the meat with the tomato paste. Okay, red wine. Again, your choice. You don't have to put it in, but I always put some in. Again. Work it round. So we poured in a half a litre of wine, 500 mils, and now it's evaporated off. And so now, what do we do? We add about five, 600 mils of water. And one stock pot to begin with. We'll taste, and maybe a little bit more at the end. So when you think we started with the carrots, the celery, the onion, the garlic, we sweated it off, removed all the water content from it. We added the beef. Again, we cooked the beef and worked the beef to evaporate all the water within the beef. Why? To intensify the flavour of the beef. Then we added the red wine, reduced it down so it evaporated, it's all gone. And then we add water, approx five, six hundred mils, and one beef stock pot to begin with, to begin with. And then like my dear mother, a little tomato sauce. So now, it's coming back up to the boil. I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves. Generous sprig of thyme. Oh, 
I personally, for my taste, think it needs another stock pot. And now we'll let that cook for an hour and a half to two hours, slowly. And then we will have our bolognese sauce. Delicious. <laughs>